I hope you guys are ready because this video is going to be a little longer than usual. So today we're going to be unpacking what Apple today talked about at their September event or what is now well known as their iPhone event. So let's get started. So first of course Tim Cook to the, took to the stage and talked about uh, the new iPad update. So now the up, uh, iPad now has a new update with the front facing camera an ultra wide camera for better viewing when people are communicating of course with the front facing camera or recording video or whatever they are doing with the front facing camera. And also now there's a new feature that comes to the iPad what is called a center stage which that allows uh, people who are using the front facing camera uh, the camera allows uh, it automatically moves to the next person right beside them. So let's say you're talking to somebody or you're doing a class project it, you look away and it will start to move to the other person um, that's also in, in that frame. So that is center stage, which actually was pretty cool, that feature. And I can't wait to see how it gets used a lot more um, and see that feature being used in real life and not just on the Apple presentation uh, area. Next, of course, is the A13 Bionic chip now is included in the iPad. So now it has become a lot more powerful, the iPad, so you can do a lot more multitasking, a lot more gaming, communication, it's way faster. So it should not have any problems now slowing down the iPad. And it still, it, it still has the home button and everything, so if you're still a fan of that, don't worry, it has not gone anywhere with that design. Um, it's still there as well. And of course, one of the big things with the iPad is improved battery life, which is no new news. Like like almost every year when Apple releases a new product or an updated product, it always included, it's always, uh, that's one of the big things, it's always improved battery life included in those products. So next, uh, Apple of course talked about the iPad mini. So the iPad mini took center stage this time and uh, the iPad mini now comes in a new redesigned uh, iPad. So just like the iPad Air and the iPad Pro, it has that same design where it has more screen real estate, it has a square edges um, and it just looks really, really slick as well. And don't worry, Touch ID is still included. It's just not included no more, of course, on the home button. It's just now included on the power button on the top where you can use your Touch ID still if you want to which I like face ID so for me face ID it just makes much more sense but it's still there for the people who like touch ID um, it's now on the power button and the iPad mini it's still the same size just a bigger screen real estate of course so you get more viewing and it just looks really really beautiful as well and of course, because uh, of the new update it comes with a uh, USB type C which is Big news, of course, for everybody who has been watching this now. So USB Type-C is also included. So now you can connect it to your camera, faster charging. Um, you can just do so much more with USB, with USB Type-C. So I'm happy Apple included that in the iPad mini. Next, it, what it was next was the Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch uh, now comes in a new um, design style, I guess. Um, a new screen design pretty much. It still has the same design I think you still use your old watch bands and everything. The only difference of course is that it comes with a larger screen real estate which almost is edge to edge which looks beautiful. Uh, the, the Apple Watch screen so it has a bigger screen real estate so you get much more information right on your Apple Watch and it just looks really really nice as well. Another big thing of course is that it has a tougher screen the Apple Watch so since it's made by glass uh, a special type of glass I don't know what type of glass but it's supposed to survive now uh, hard hits um, scratches from rocks and everything so it's uh, harder to break now and have those cracks on the Apple Watch. So yeah you could just see the big difference in the Apple Watch how much it has come since the original Apple Watch um, and it's just impressive how far Apple keeps taking these Apple Watches to the next level. One of the big things of course is the September event is the iPhones. So Apple introduced today the iPhone 13 which came to no surprise to anybody. We knew we were going to get new iPhones this year. And the iPhone 13 comes in five different colors now. Um, so you'll get uh, choose a blue, gold, um, silver, and black. 
are pretty much it. Those are the five, uh, the four colors, the five different colors that you get with the iPhone. Um, and of course, uh, a new design, uh, a new design change with the camera bump on the back there. Now the camera lenses are no longer uh, up to bottom like these, like the original iPhone 11 here. Um, it's now diagonally, and that's because of the bigger sensors that it's included into the cameras. So they had to make a smaller design change uh, to it, which is not a big deal. It just looks still really nice and everything. Um, but yeah, it's just really, it's really crazy how far Apple has come that they have to move a little bit the camera lenses just so that they can afford to include those bigger sensors on those iPhone models. And what one of the big things, of course, the, with the iPhone uh, 13 is also a cinematic mode. So in cinematic mode, it allows people uh, to create awesome videos uh, with the camera lens, um, where you, what you see in movies is where you get uh, maybe the actor, your, the camera's looking at the main actor, but then the actor looks away at an object or anything, and then it automatically focuses on the object that that person's looking at. So that's pretty much it, what Apple brought to the iPhone uh, 13 this year is cinematic mode. So we're gonna see some crazy YouTube videos of people using that, and I can't wait to see the videos that people produce with those new features uh, that Apple just introduced with cinematic mode. And then of course, Apple introduced uh, photography styles, or yeah, photography styles, which is pretty much filters for their photos. Like that day, it looks a little bit much more bluer, the sky, um, the flowers look much more red and everything. It's just pretty much the same thing. It's just added filters pretty much over it. Um, which is a nice little touch, of course, for people maybe who don't edit their photos too often on like a dark room or like light room. Um, they could just go there and quickly edit their photos with the filters already provided by Apple. And then, of course, the big thing, iPhone 13 Pro. So this is like their pro lineup of the iPhone here Apple talked about and it's the ProMotion that comes to the screen. So now the iPhone 13 comes with ProMotion which is a huge, huge um, update to the screen uh, to the screen. so it looks even much more better than uh, before um, and it's just really amazing. I can't, take, I can't wait to like actually just go and see it in person and see how it looks, the iPhone 13 ProMotion. Um, so yeah, it's just a really gorgeous thing to look at. Um, next, of course, it comes with four different colors. Uh, the iPhone here comes with Sierra Blue, Silver, Gold, and Graphite, which is pretty much black. Um, and next, of course, the big thing is the camera updates. You know, for me, this is why I'm doing these videos to recap pretty much breaking down um, the, the iPhone, what I really liked about the Apple event, and pretty much for me, it's the cameras. Um, and of course, uh, micro photography comes now with the iPhone Pro. So now, uh, thanks to the updated sensors uh, included in the iPhone Pro's uh, camera, um, now uh, you could do macro photography and it looks fantastic from the samples that they're showing off. So we'll see how that produces to the real world um, other than Apple's advertising. Next, of course, we have is the wide lens. So the wide lens got a bigger aperture. So that means when it's a, a night you're taking night photos, you, you, uh, more light is being captured into the sensor to produce better night uh, photos and less grain, which is always a big plus since you know many of us do take night photos and it's just a really nice plus that Apple in included that in the update. Next is also in the ultra wide lens, um, I got, got an update as well with a faster sensor, so it gets to uh, capture much more data in the picture, and also a new autofocus update as well included in these and this update for the iPhone 13 Pro. And of course, it comes cinematic mode also comes included in the iPhone 13, so don't worry about that, it's also come included. And then photography style as well, also included in this uh, iPhone as well, you get the filters and everything. And it now comes with a big one terabyte option, uh, the iPhone. So if you need one terabyte of memory on your iPhone, which I think only really videographers and photographers will really need, um, then now you have a, a one terabyte option on your iPhone, which is the first iPhone to finally support the one terabyte option. And next, the prices stay the same just like last year. Apple did not increase the prices of the iPad, of the iPhone 13, I'm sorry, uh, Pro, and the prices stay the same. So you just pay the same price like what you paid last year for your iPhone for your iPhone Pro model, you're paying the same price model for this year as well. So that's pretty much it of the breakdown of the Apple September event, event uh, iPhone event that uh, 
Apple showed off today. So they talked about other stuff as well, other services, much more detailed specs. But I think I'll let those other YouTubers who like to talk about the specs and maybe the fitness more about that. For me, it was mostly what I really took away from the event and what I really can't wait to try out of those products. So that's it for now. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to your channel to keep up with more Apple news stuff. Um, and subscribe to stay tuned for the new Apple products as well. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.